So for this week's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little watermelon purse. It looks like this. It has a zipper on top, so you can open it and put stuff in it. This one is not lined, however I'm going to make a video showing you how to line this if you want to put like crochet hooks or stuff that would poke out through the crochet in it. So on to the tutorial. For this tutorial I am using worsted weight yarn. You're going to need four colors, black, red, pink, and green. So these are the four colors I'm using. They are the Red Heart Super Saver from Walmart. You're also going to need a zipper and a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook, which is a G. You're going to need an embroidery needle right here and some thread that matches your red yarn as closely as possible. The first thing we're going to do is make two watermelon slices. The watermelon slice looks like this. This is the back. First thing you're going to do is take your red watermelon yarn, make a slip knot, and chain three. You want that first chain to be pretty loose. Now you're going to do five double crochets into this third chain from a hook. going to give you six stitches because the last two chain two counts as your first double crochet. Now chain two and turn and do one double crochet into the top of that first stitch. This counts as two stitches because that chain two counts as your first double crochet. Now do two double crochet into each stitch. You should end up with 12 stitches. Now you should have 12 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now you're going to chain 2 again and turn and do one double crochet into the top of that first stitch. Now we're going to repeat this pattern across. One double crochet and then two double crochet in the same stitch so it increase. Repeat that all the way to the other side. Your last stitch should be to do a double crochet into the top of that last chain two from the previous row. Now chain two again and turn, and you're going to do a double crochet into the top of that first stitch. This counts as an increase, this is two stitches done in the same stitch. Now do one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, and then increase again in the, in the very next stitch. So one. And this is the pattern we're going to be repeating across. After your very last increase stitch, just finish it off in the very last two stitches with two double crochets. Now for your very last row of red, start out again with a chain two. And after turning, do a double crochet in the top of that very first stitch. Now we're going to repeat this pattern. We're going to do 
three double crochets in the next three stitches and then that increase stitch which is two double crochets in the same stitch. You're going to finish up with three double crochets in the last three stitches and then chain one and cut your yarn and then pull through. We're going to switch colors. Get your pink yarn and now in that very first stitch skipping the place where you chained one insert your hook and pull up a loop. Chain one and turn. You're going to do two single crochets in the very same space where you just chained one. And then you're going to repeat this pattern all the way around. You're going to do four single crochets in the next four stitches, and then two single crochets in the same stitch, an increased stitch. So in the very last four stitches, just do four single crochets. Now chain one, cut your yarn, and pull through. The very last color is green. Find that spot, that very first stitch of pink, skipping the chain one that you did at the very end. Pull up a green loop. Chain one and turn. Now you're going to do two half double crochets in that very first stitch, the same one that you just pulled up the loop in. And now we're going to repeat this all the way around. You're going to do five half double crochets and then the increase stitch which is two half double crochets in the same stitch. And then when you get to the end, just do five half double crochets in the very last five stitches. Chain one, cut your yarn, and pull through. Now you want to make two of these slices, and we're going to weave in all the ends. So decide which, which side you want to be, the front or the back. They do look a little bit different, so I'm going to pick this side to be my front. So turn it over, so the front side that you want is facing downwards, and you're going to weave in all of your ends. After you have your pretty little watermelon slice, we're going to add some seeds to both your sides. To add seeds, just take your black yarn, cut off a very long piece of yarn, and thread it onto a yarn needle. Then with your right side facing you, simply make little seeds in your watermelon. All the seeds you want, turn your over and tie the end off. All right, now that you have your two watermelon slices completed, we are going to attach the zipper. You have to do the zipper before you do the lining, just trust me. So get your embroidery needle and thread it with a piece a long piece of thread that matches your watermelon color. You can of course machine sew the zipper on if you know how, but I find it easier to hand sew it on. Now take your zipper and unzip it all the way. So set one of them aside and place your watermelon slice with the zipper on the wrong side. So like this. 
And now what you're going to do is pin this watermelon slice to the zipper. So just pin it to the zipper like that. It doesn't matter if some hangs off this side or if some hangs off this side. Now taking your needle and thread, start at one end in the red area, making sure to come from the wrong side and just sew tiny little stitches from one side to the other. Now once you've sewn to the very end of the red portion right here, we're not attaching the zipper to the pink or the green portion. I'll show you what to do with those later. My back looks like this. You can see the little stitches in the top right here. Now we're going to go back over the same part we just did. So you sewed from one end down to the other, and now we're going to go, without cutting your, your thread, back to the other end. So just try to sew in places that you missed before. When you reach the very last stitch from your second go over, pull it through, turn your watermelon purse over. You can go ahead and take off your needle. And now we're simply going to tie the two ends together. So just tie a knot in the two strings and then just clip them off. And here is what the back of my watermelon purse looks like right now with all the stitches in it. All right, to sew the other edge on, you're going to zip up your zipper, and then you're going to pin this watermelon slice on the other side of the zipper, making sure it matches up parallel with this watermelon slice. So there's my other side pinned on, and now we're simply going to sew starting from this red area all the way down and all the way back and tie it off in the very same fashion that you tied off the other side. So after the zipper is completely sewn on, you want to make sure that you can zip and unzip it. Now we're going to sew our watermelon together. So get your green yarn again and thread it through a needle. And you're going to whip stitch the green together starting at this very top portion right here. And tie a knot. You can pull the ends through to the other side after you're done. You're going to go through the two loops that are closest to each other. So this is a stitch right here. You're going to go through this loop right here that's on the inner side and this inner one. To pull it together. Continue doing this, whip stitch it all the way around until you get back to the beginning right here. You can add more crochet, like you can slip stitch to here and then crochet some to make a bottom for it and then slip stitch. But this is just the little basic bag and now I'm going to show you how to make a lining in case you want a cloth lining for the inside. And that part involves a sewing machine. so. I'll link that tutorial here to see if you want a lining. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the watermelon bag tutorial and that it was fun. And if you make one, let me know.